Om Shanti, we're doing the recording of 18th of October's God Blessing. Now, Supreme Father wants us to get rid of our bondages. Now, these bondages are the ones which we have created in a past life or in this present life also. On a daily basis, we're creating some kind of bondage. Till the time we are not soul conscious completely, we are still in some form of bondage, whether it's financial bondage, relationships, mental, emotional, spiritual, physical bondages. So let's see how to get rid of those bondages in a subtle manner. Supreme God Father says in today's blessing, May you become a world server and finish your karmic bondages with the bond of service. So world at large would mean that we are talking about all those souls whom we must have met in a previous life and have had bondages all over the world most probably. So God is saying while living at home with your family, Never think that you are there because of your karmic accounts or bondages. Because if you take it as a burden, like why am I born in this family? Why this kind of trouble? Why financial? Why emotional? Why mental? Why health-wise trouble is coming to me because of these family members? Then it's going to feel like a bondage. So God says, don't feel like that. Don't think like that. No, that too is service. We have to take it as service. Taking care of somebody, taking care of someone's physical, mental, emotional health is all service, not a bondage. When you are bound with the bond of service, your karmic bondage is finished. But if you take it as a burden, then obviously some form of irritation, some form of frustration again will rise up and that will again create another bondage of karma, an impure or a negative account. So God says that's why use the attitude of serving, not as thinking as why all this is coming to me. God says until you have the consciousness of serving, karmic bondages will pull you. And they pull us through frustration, through irritation, through some kind of uh, sadness or mood offs. And that itself means that we are getting pulled into the karmic bondage. If there is a karmic bondage, there will be waves of sorrow. But if there is the bond of service, I'm here to serve them, there will be happiness. So finish your karmic bondages with the bond of service, not as a burden, but with a bond of service. What, whenever a world, wherever a world server is in the world, he is there to do world service. No matter which place you are posted or which country you are in or we are supposed to go, and meet certain souls in your life, you are there to serve, whether it's your job, whether it's your business, whether it's your family, whether it's your work, it's service. And with that kind of attitude, everything becomes easier and simpler. And then the zeal and enthusiasm also remains constant. Otherwise, any form of burden, any form of bondage, if you feel, it will feel as if you're pushing too hard to get that same work done. Think about it deeply. And that is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. And especially we learn the art of Karma Yoga. Keeping God as a companion while doing Karma. So that our bondages are clean and clear. We don't create new bondages. With this, Om Shanti.